Hi everyone, this is Stacy in Japan and I am here again to talk about mental health full stop mental health in Japan mental health in Jamaica mental health wherever and the truth is I have been struggling for the past year before I actually realized what I was struggling with and just a couple months ago a friend of mine who actually left Japan and went back to Jamaica said boy Stacy you're strong you're mentally strong because I couldn't stay any longer and I said to him no it's not that I'm mentally strong but my foundation is in God little did I know that a few months later I would have gotten to what I call near breaking point why do I say near breaking point and not breaking point? Because I realized the attack on my mind. And almost unwillingly, I reached out. And I have been reaching out. And people have been saying things like, Oh, you're going to be fine, man. Oh, you think too much. <laughs> Everything is going to be okay. And these responses for me, with how I have been feeling, have felt very uncaring and very unsupportive. And that is, again, my reality here in Japan. A lack of support, very little communication, and it's a constant, a constant battle of the mind for me. This year in particular, the start of 2020 has been one of the most difficult years. One of the most difficult. As you may know, I am also studying and I'm in the last leg, like literally the final leg of my studies and I can't continue I haven't given up I just haven't been able to do anything what do I mean by that my dissertation research should have started March 20th March 20th is where I was grappling and just struggling to stay afloat to keep my head above water so I have not started my research dissertation and you know I kept thinking okay with time with time it will it will pass it will improve I even went on vacation and you know thought there would be some refreshing there. I even asked for that. But by this time, COVID-19 had made itself known, felt, and impacting everything and everywhere. And so there were a lot of restrictions, restriction, restrictions on where to go, and you know everyone has just been trying to keep their distance and so on and so the isolation continued it basically continued and you know I keep saying to a lot of persons that COVID-19 hasn't changed much of anything in my life my schedule hasn't really been affected apart from the fact that I am not working anymore full-time nor even part-time because all of those opportunities have been cancelled until May or pending whatever COVID-19 wants to decide. <laughs> but nothing has really changed because being here in Japan, I have pretty much been alone for most of the times. The only places that I used to go to would have been work which took most 
of my time just being there even if I wasn't doing anything which is what the last three weeks of work were for me the last three weeks of work there were no students yet we were asked to go to work and to find work to appear busy and that is when I almost crumbled but I survived and I was really glad to have gotten past that hurdle so now I am not working full-time and though most of the other teachers are now working from home I suppose they have some interaction with some whatever I don't know but nothing has changed for me I am not going to church nobody is and that was the only other place where I had some sort of interaction no matter how surface level it was because that was what it was surface level no meaningful connections here in Japan nobody that is close by the only persons that have consistently been supportive have been a couple Japanese friends and they don't live close by and of course they try to understand but cannot fully understand and on top of that they are busy with their families and so I try not to burden them as it were but I realize that this is my position and frankly speaking has been my position since I have been here in Japan so what have I been doing about it I have tried I have reached out I have asked for help I have been supportive of others a lot and that's what I realized was happening I was giving 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 of myself very little times was I being poured into and most of that pouring into was what you would call inner strength but God knows I am tired I am tired so tired that I have told my mom and my brother you know you should prepare for me to come home because I don't know how much more I can take and I've told people hey I'm struggling and I've told them I'm struggling mentally I've never spoken about having mental struggles before but like I said people are just like oh you're going to be fine you'll get over it you're thinking too much stop overthinking things but they are not in my place they don't have my experiences and so their responses do not for me come from a place of understanding and I might be wrong but I don't know because if you have had any kind of mental struggles then you would possibly be more empathetic but I haven't found that at all even though one person said to me oh I know what you're experiencing I've been there and that was it oh no that's not true I'll keep you in my prayers I think this is one of the easiest things to say to people as people of faith you're in my prayers and that's it prayer is the answer for everything but with prayer there needs to be support you can't be trying to preach to a man when he's hungry you should feed him first and then he would be able to listen to you 
And so here I am making this video. Just as a way to articulate what has been happening to me. And I hope it came through with some amount of sense because I actually tried to search for some English speaking counselors and I made a list but I have not made any contact with them because I don't know what I'm going to say and even as I think about what I'm going to say and what I should say one of the other things I believe has contributed to this contributed <laughs> to my current state you know it's just being so open to people vulnerable and being hurt by them and without any care of them realizing or caring that they have hurt me um, I think that really kind of started the ball rolling I was really hurt pretty badly over I probably over a year ago yeah and you know things just I was just being hurt by people <laughs> like why <laughs> you know or people just say things I guess they have good intentions but then they never follow through and I guess my expectations of people also you know so be careful guard your mental health guard yourself against people who only take from you just take 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 and don't you know reciprocate in any way but are just also willing also willing to take from you without any care of how they are impacting your life but continue to love you know I found this song that's called love is a miracle and with all that I have been dealing with and struggling with I still